think uh, so how much we emphasize to the strain? Uh, dyslexia and talk about how people just because they have reading issues that doesn't mean that they're anti-bucks. So for instance when I was 17 I became very interested in political theory and I um, just recently got my hands on uh, I finished the Communist Manifesto a talking book uh, from the Library of Congress uh -huh. I have a talking book machine and I really enjoy it and I now I'm going to start The Wealth of Nations by Adam Smith and uh, cool. yeah and I think the great thing about The Strand is it's a dying trend in literature you know because I know that when I was growing up I couldn't help but be inspired by great authors Mark Train. Uh, Allen Ginsberg, you know, so many great people, you know, and well, yes, you can get a book from any of these places to, from any place, Amazon, Barnes and Nobles, to go to a bookstore like The Strand, which still has the intimacy and the feelings of nostalgia of history and then to talk about that in the context of disability and to talk about that in the context of disability in the context of bohemian culture in the village I think would be quite a memorable experience and I think it would be a big honor for me personally because I grew up a big fan of the sights and sounds of the folk revival, uh, the upbeat poetry. I grew up admiring the writers of France of the 20s. I um, grew up with classic literature and I think rare books and rare books have so much to offer because I know as someone who comes from a marginalized community that I can't emphasize enough the importance of collective understanding through storytelling. Because after all, that's how cultures develop. That's how cultures pass ideas down from generation to generation. And having a place where the relics of our past can be respected and enjoyed for centuries, but can be owned. And those from marginalized communities have a place to dream interact and to 12 is really doing a major service to the community and I think having a presentation on disability which transcends community is could enhance the experience because the reality is every time you pick up a book it's about, it's more about the perspective of what you bring to the table than it is about the book itself. And when I come to share my perspective, it's an analysis of my past, the analysis of those around me, and the analysis of the past experiences of my community. And it's based upon the, those things where, as far as I'm concerned, we can find a fuller picture of reality. And when we find the fuller, pe fuller full, a full picture of reality, we can fully embrace ourselves and those around us.